I don't think anyone predicted 3-3. And if you'd have told me that before the game, I would have said you're mad. But I've got to say, I much prefer a 3-3 than a boring 0-0. There were so many positives. And yes, we should have won. All right, it is Newcastle away. These are, especially if you want to win the title, which we're not going to do. But get top four. You need to be beating these teams. But there were so many positives. So I'm not going to complain as much as if it was a 0-0. As I say, so many positives and a 3-3 result was probably what it deserved. There were so many controversial decisions within the game and there was two cracking goals. And yeah, it was just a, a really entertaining game of football. Who would have thought that at the start of the game? But no, credit to Newcastle. They played very well. And credit to Louis van Gaal for, you know, releasing some of his stubbornness. All right, that's one thing that I hate about Louis van Gaal. I never thought we'd change our style, change everything but he did all right and yes he should have done this ages ago but that's why i wanted louis van Hal out i still probably do to be honest but it's because he's left it far too late but i think because he, he just was stubborn and he was never going to change his ways but he's done that this game and there are so many positives if we play like this for the rest of the season we've got a great great chance of getting in the top four a really really good chance because it's just individual errors and just mistakes we have to cut out. We gave away a penalty because of, you know, some wrestling by Smalling. It was a penalty. But eradicate that. There's a goal away. Dummett got a, a, a lucky deflection. I mean, we had our fair share of luck. I'm not going to deny that. But, you know, on another day, it's not going to hit Smalling. It's not going to go in. So there's another goal that we could eradicate. Of course, some of our goals were lucky, especially the penalty in the first half. And then, you know, the ball to drop so kindly for Rooney, a little bit of luck involved. So it's one of these things where if you play like this, the chances are going to fall for you and you just need to eradicate your mistakes. And yet, I believe we can do that. This is the first time we've played like this and God knows how long. We've changed the system. The players are getting used to it. So it's going to take a little bit of time, just a little bit, because we've scored three just need to stop conceding, all right? Get that little bit of a balance. But yeah, I think a major issue in this squad is Marouan Fellaini. Not just because of him himself, but the, the way we play with him in the squad, we have to punt it to him or cross it to him. And, you know, we shouldn't have to dictate our entire style of play to suit a player. That's when he doesn't fit in the side. So he really needs to not be playing. He needs to be sold, unfortunately, for him. He had a great chance to wrap it up, make it 4-2. I'm not putting the blame on Fellaini, all right? I've backed him. Quite a bit. I just think he's at the wrong team. He's a quality player, but for United, we, we can't afford to just be punting the ball to him. And the style doesn't suit him. He's not a CDM, which is where he was played by Lou Van Hal in the first half. He got a sloppy yellow. He was making mistakes. And yeah, he, he needs to be played further forward. But we've got too many attackers to drop him. Sorry, to drop to put Fellini in. So yeah, he, he just doesn't need to be in the side. A major positive in this game: the fullbacks and the wingers were great attackingly. Defensively, Young and Dormian could have done a little bit more, particularly Young, but I'm not going to get on his back too much because he isn't even a well, <laughs> he isn't even a fullback, and you know he's predominantly on the left and he's playing right back. So you know they were all good going forward though. Lingard, Memphis when he came on, Martial when he was playing as a winger, Dormian, Young, all fantastic going forward. Another thing I noticed, another positive is that Young produced three really really great balls into the box, and that's something we've been lacking. But no one was on the end. You know, you would have expected Fellaini to be on the end, but in the first half, obviously, he was playing a little bit further back because of whatever reason Louis van Gaal had told him. But anyway, um, Rooney is the main positive in this. He, he performed like a captain today, and if he can do this, I'm perfectly happy for him to stay, to stay in the side, captain the side, all right? If he can perform like this consistently, not just the goals, just his general play, his assist for Lingard was world-class. It was old Wayne Rooney today, and that's what I love to see. So on to the goals, very controversial penalty in the first half. Well, first, what, 10 minutes? I mean, at first glance, I, I thought no penalty. But then when you look at it, I'm, I'm not being biased here, but you can see why the referees gave it. Because Mbemba, you know, obviously you've got to lift your arms to jump. But he had his arm fully outstretched and Fellaini had headed the ball onto his arm. So you can see why the referees gave it. Whether you think it was, wasn't a penalty. It was given whatever we scored it. Um... And yeah, like, it's obviously a controversial decision. But anyway, Newcastle bounced back quickly from that. Anyway, fantastic work from Genie Wijnaldum. I think it is Blind or Fellaini that makes a mistake. I, I can't remember. But anyway, he latches on to it and it's a powerful strike. Brilliant goal from Newcastle. But then United 
fight back and you know it, it, this is brilliant from Wayne Rooney it really was hold up play he knows Lingard's behind him on the overlapping run he times it perfectly a great way uh, well a lovely way to pass and Lingard slots it in to make it 2-1 at half time we've got three goals in the first half in a Manchester United game unreal 2-1 at half time I couldn't believe it and then in the second half again some great play from both sides, there was debatable decisions. Newcastle, you know, there was two penalty shouts earlier. Um, I think one was a Stonewall penalty. That was when Lingard tripped. It was a Ayose Perez. That was a penalty, but it wasn't given. The next one was a dive by Jack Colback against Fellini, I think. And then Newcastle finally do get a penalty, and it's deserved. Smalling starts, like, grappling or wrestling, whatever you want to call it, with Mitrovic. Mitrovic reacts, you know, does the same. It's a little bit of a... Uh, hustle and bustle but Smalling started it so it was a penalty Mitrovic slots it away and you know I, I wasn't too disheartened but then Newcastle piled on the pressure and it looked as though they were going to get the goal some great saves from David De Gea stopped them and then we finally broke we, we did something and this is what is brilliant about this counter attack in football we don't need holding DMs we don't need two Schneidlin is good enough by himself we did concede three but as I say they were mistakes also, Smalling didn't have the best game of his season. Not going to blame him. He's entitled to one or two mistakes because he's been truly world-class. But it shows that we need another defender. Someone who's going to step up when Smalling has an off game. You know, Vidic, when he had an off game, he had Ferdinand. Vice versa with Ferdinand and Vidic. They weren't always amazing. But, you know, the combination of both worked so much. And we've only got Smalling. So when he dips off, Daily Blinn's good here and there. But he's not... You know, he's not the partner Smalling needs for when he isn't amazing like he has been for most of this season. But anyway, great work from Memphis, who got subbed on. Um, I, I I wanted him to start, but you could see why Louis Van Hart did put Lingard. He's a little bit more defensive and he, he you know, covered for Domin a bit more. But Memphis, brilliant work, forces a, a, a well, it's a block from Dummett. It comes straight to Wayne Rooney and he smashes it in. Classic Wayne Rooney. So good to see him do that. Four in three in 2016. Obviously, two of them are penalties, but still unbelievable from Wayne Rooney. Really happy to see that. And then I thought, yes, we've won. We've got the points. But Paul Dummett, a brilliant strike. It, it's a little bit of luck. You know, Smalling, unlucky today. It, it hit him on the shoulder. Could have went anywhere. Maybe if it didn't, David De Gea could have saved it. But it went in. And to be honest, 3-3 three, three is a deserved result. And Dome, he'll be very happy with that, considering he was the, you know, well, the unfortunate one that blocked the shot that went straight away in Rooney. So 3-3, three, three, I didn't think I'd be happy with the draw, but I saw so many positives to be too negative about this. We've had so many shit performances, even ones that we've scraped to win where we've just looked really, really bad or draws or slight losses. And yeah, I've, I've had so much negativity to see a team, well, my team, the team I love, attack like that, score three goals. And just, you know, actually play football for once. You know, it, it, that's what I want to see. And now we, we need a performance after this. Uh, sorry, a result. Obviously, we definitely need to. It's Liverpool, I think, the next game. So th that has to be a win, regardless of how good the performance is. We really need a win in that. But if, if we can play like this, we're going to pick up so many more points than we would if we were playing this boring, shit, lethargic, just, oh, just dead game of football, basically. Oh. I'd much prefer this than the other, is what I'm saying. And if we can build on this, we'll pick up many points. It's one game into this new system. You know, teething problems might be there. We'll sort them out and we'll be better for it. So, yeah, I'm going to be positive. Hopefully, Louis van Gaal doesn't go back to his shit, you know, tactics after this. Hopefully, he realises that this is the better way. This is the United way. Not conceding three, but scoring three and playing some good attacking football. So am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.